Welcome to another daily cinephile vlog as we look here at my new monitor I got. So finally got the monitor that I wanted for the computer. I also recently got this monitor down here, got booted down and we upgraded. I was actually editing a video that will be a Patreon exclusive. So if you want to see that, you'll just have to go on my Patreon. Got some wonderful hair going on there. This was actually filmed a couple months ago, but uh, I finally got to finishing it. And, um, but this monitor, as you can see, is an ultra wide monitor. I thought about getting two monitors. I thought that was the standard thing to do. I didn't realize that there was even a thing like an ultra wide monitor. I actually had a monitor already down here. Not for that computer. That actually is an older computer from, this one's like from 2001, I believe. It's very old. Uh, it's the first computer my family ever had. It was the first computer my parents uh, ever had. And uh, we actually had a different computer sometime later. That actually, this keyboard, that's all dusty and crap. And this monitor was for, it was for an HP. Uh, that was from like 2007, 2008. Uh, we don't have that anymore. That actually had a virus on it. It was a time before I understood anything about computers. So, you know, at that age, wasn't really able to do much about it. Uh, we threw it out. But we still have this really old one here. It's got some games on it. And like I said previously in a different video, I do need to get some files off of it. I'll probably get rid of it. Uh, but I thought I'd be using that monitor there because that one's actually still pretty good shape. I'm not sure about the quality, uh, but I know it's in good shape to use. Uh, and I thought I would just get another monitor similar to it. However, the dual monitor seemed like a way better idea. As you can see, I got all of my video software here. I can look at all the files and stretch things around as much as I want, which wasn't really possible with one screen, especially when I was just using the laptop before. I had actually edited the video with that monitor as well, but this definitely gives way more room for everything and it makes me super happy to finally have. Uh, when I first hooked it up, it didn't seem like it was gonna work. Uh, I did the HDMI hookup and when it was, uh, finally on the screen it was actually just doing a 16 by 9 aspect ratio it wasn't doing the full uh you know spread right here which was disappointing uh but i was able to figure it out and then realize oh i can make it work there was a separate cord that it came with right here um which is actually a display port cord and as you can see one of the corners is chipped off actually i'll take the cover here so one of the corners not literally chipped but it looks like there's a cut in the corner of the cord, whereas HDMI usually has two cuts in the corner, one on the other top as well as uh, the bottom, but this one only has one, so it looks like a lopsided HDMI cord. I had no idea what this was, uh, but it's a display port cord, and a display port was not available on the back of this HP that I have, so... I was worried that maybe I would not need to get an HDMI to display port converter in order to actually display it on this monitor correctly, but I was able to figure it out with just the HDMI. I did learn that this monitor didn't have speakers. I figured it didn't. For some reason, I thought there was maybe a chance just given that did have HDMI input on it because HDMI does have sound that goes through as well. The sound is going through to the monitor, but there uh, is actually an output on the back for speakers. Um, which weirdly enough, it's only an aux uh, auxiliary output. There isn't um, the higher quality digital output. They usually have uh, one of those, it's called optical actually, optical outputs for the modern digital sound, which is usually on TVs. Uh, this doesn't have that. This only has an audio output from, from what I'm looking at. And um, anyways, I ended up, putting some speakers up there for now so I, I i'm gonna change that eventually that was only because I, I was just editing a video quick i needed some sound to come out and you know preferably you should be editing with uh you know headphones anyway which i do but i also use regular sound sometimes and i just wanted to try it out see if this would work if that does work that seems like that'll end up being the sound bar i use for this unless i were to buy separate speakers but for now i might just use a sound bar it might work just as well but yeah, this is, uh, I'm very impressed by this. It doesn't maybe look as large in the video, but if I actually walk away from the desk, as you can see, it's pretty large. It looks pretty massive. Um, definitely looks massive in person, and it's definitely going to help with improving the production of videos. So everything should be coming out more seamlessly now. 
higher quality, should be able to get things done faster as you already saw in a different video when I got the computer. The render times are way quicker now and I have a lot more room to edit with. So looking forward to the future. Sorry, it's been stuck in this frame the whole time.